I use neurofeedback on my children. It's not one of the first things I go to, but I believe in it. Uh, neurofeedback is where we take an EEG, the information from an EEG, run it through a special database to see where there's too many brain waves, too few, and where there's where the signals are not meeting up the way they should be. So then what we do is we will put an electrode on, you know, one or two, and we will then have the child uh, be playing games or doing things, watching videos, but playing games with their mind, and they're able to manipulate things. It basically, neurofeedback is nothing more than operant conditioning. What we've done is we've taken an electrical map from, a Q, from an EEG run through a QEG database. We've taken an electrical map, and from that electrical map, we write a prescription, and that prescription then becomes an educational program. That educational program is like operant conditioning where, you know, with the bell, you rang the bell, the Pavlovian dog started salivating. It's a learned condition. So when there's too many brain waves, you know, we are able to downregulate those. When there's not enough brain waves where they should be, we're able to upregulate them. Neurofeedback is a very good uh, treatment for uh, ADHD. It's a very good treatment for epilepsy. Uh, those are the two it's most studied for. For autism, there's more and more information showing that it works, but it's a very, very slow process. Hyperbaric and methyl B12 are very quick processes. Neurofeedback is a slow, steady process. But if a child can watch a computer or he can hear, he can have benefit. If they do it too much, there's kind of an extinction factor. Too little, it doesn't work. So there's a time. I used to do too many. You know, I don't do that anymore. I do, doing too few doesn't work. So there's a way to do it, and we're able to uh, repeat the QEGs, find out where we would want to go. Neurofeedback has a couple ways they do it. There's QEG directed neurofeedback where we take a brain map and we first write a prescription from that. Then there's symptom based. I believe with children with autism the neuro QEG neurofeedback works best, directed neurofeedback. And I think with somebody like us uh, we could probably just work on symptom based oftentimes and get a good result. But with children with autism, I think we really need to know, focus on where they're having the most problems and then uh, direct the neurofeedback to those areas.